Okay, what's going on everybody? Good morning ladies and gentlemen. My name is DK and welcome to my incredible podcast. Now before we continue, do not forget to hook smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Share this with your boys and your families. Follow me on Instagram. Smash that bell notification button and enjoy. Now without further ado, Please enjoy MGTOW compilation number two. I need men. I need men to stop. I need you to fucking stop. I need you to fucking stop derailing the conversation and making it about your feelings when women say men are garbage. Mm. I'm so tired of having this conversation with you. It is not my, my not my job to coddle your male fragility. Mm. I posted a, something on my close friend's Instagram story saying men are garbage. <laughs> because I had a very terrible sexist experience happen to me that night. And then I had several men respond back and saying, yes, we are, facts, you know, affirming my experience. And then I had one guy, one motherfucker, who tried to derail the entire fucking conversation and make it about his fucking feelings. Stop making it about you. Can you please stop clapping like a demented seal? This is not about you! I don't know how many times I have to fucking say that! And then he was like, well you seem pretty pissed. Yeah, I get pissed off when I'm dealing with fucking incompetence! Which is half of the world! Stop it! Oh. It is a known fact that I have terrible taste in men. So if I ever liked you, wanted to date you, or have dated you, here's your sign to work on yourself. You're welcome. Gentlemen, here's a quick piece of advice. Do not go around fixing these broken females, just to let you know. But if you are a decent guy, hit me up. Alright, well, since no one wants to go on a date with me in my area, I am driving three hours to go on a date. Super nervous, super excited. A few moments later. So, I just drove three hours, and now this guy isn't responding. Three hours to go on a date, to get stood up. This is why I don't date. Fuck this. Fuck this. What are you doing? I'm recording you. I see that. That's not a gift either. Uh, a gift for me? Ooh, I'm excited. I love it. What is it? Ooh, it's that kind of night, ain't it? My favorite wine. I'm excited. It better be the necklace I wanted for a long time. Another bag. You're so tricky, I tell you. Another bag. I can't with you and your foolishness. You are one silly man, I tell you. Oh my God, what is this? Oh man. Duct tape, really? They ran out. An envelope? What could this be? It's not shaking. It's not my necklace, I don't think. This better be a ticket to Dubai for two weeks straight. Round trip. <laughs> yeah, read it. What is this? You know what it is? I just want you to know that I know. Nevea is not mine. She's right. not my daughter. Why did you do this tonight out of all nights? Why? Because I wanted you to know that I know Nevaeh is not mine. I've had doubts. Nevaeh is not mine. She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? She's not my daughter. Why would you do this? Why would you cheat? I didn't cheat. Why would you cheat on me? I didn't. That's proof right there. DNA test. Nevaeh is not my daughter. Really? Out of all days? You had three years to give this to me. Now you want to give this to me? All right. You and Nevaeh got to the end of the month to get out of my house. You're kidding, right? I'm not kidding. But you that's your and daughter. your daughter have to the end of the month to get out of my house. But that's Kelly. your daughter. It's not my daughter, Kelly. Yes, it is. The paperwork says it's not. women anymore because society is telling women that they're all queens and that they all deserve a top-notch man and that none of them should settle 
So they have a long list of things that make a guy attractive. And only 25% of men meet that list. And then women look around and go, how come I can't find a good guy? Do you know why? Because you guys are rotating the same 25% of men. And you can't blame those men. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> God, just much to think about. You know what I mean? Do y'all ever sprint so far past the point that you take a fucking lap and then meet us right back here? Because <laughs> that's essentially what you did. Everything you said was right, but not for the reasons that you think. And honestly, that's impressive. <laughs> I got a couple logistical questions on the noggin though. I'm gonna ask you, we're gonna get those out of the way, then we're gonna jump right into this fire content. Number one, um, are you in an RV? <laughs> like, are you on vacay right now? Just, like, with your family? You're just sitting in Joshua Tree, just, like, doing this? <laughs> I fucking hope so. I really do. Next. Anyone who seriously submits to this ideology of red pill versus blue pill? Eh, invalid. Anything you say after that, I, it quite literally, it's simlish to me, can't understand it. All I hear when you talk after that is that you jerk it to Joe Rogan. That's all I hear. What you said was in support of women, and I feel like that wasn't your goal. <laughs> you said that women have these impossibly high standards that a very small percentage of men can meet. You didn't include yourself, which, oof. <laughs> and then it's essentially women's fault that they can't find anyone because they refuse to date the garbage. Bro, you want to be different? Send her money. Don't listen to them. This is what happens when you all muscle no brains. Let me explain something to y'all, gang. Stop sending these girls money. I don't care how big the cheeks is. I don't care how pretty they are. Stop sending them money. You working a nine to five, eight hour shifts. Working mad hard, overtime, late night shifts. For her to just take photos on Instagram and just, hi. No, stop doing that. Like, let me explain something. This is the new rule for men. If she want to get money, she better get a job as your personal janitor and start mopping up. Because that's great. Y'all just sending money for, for being pretty? I like. I know women are smarter than men, but they should not be finessing y'all this badly. Like, y'all must be out y'all minds, gang. Stop sending them bread. All these girls that be like, oh, I want a hood, dude. I want a scam. I want to be in the passenger seat of the drug. That's cap. If they not from the hood, they can't handle that pressure. Yeah, I'm talking to this girl, right? She found out from the projects. I'm like, she like, oh, I want to pull up. I'm like, bet. First, we stop at the deli to get food. Now we walk to my crib. I seen these dudes on my block arguing. I know them. So I'm like, oh, yeah, it's about to be the 4th of July in December. We need to get inside now. Right when we step foot inside my lobby, Everyone getting low but her stupid ass. She over here, huh? 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 Yo, I drag her ass down. Yo, she, the way Shorty was hyper levitating, y'all. I swear to God, I could have made an album with the way she was beatboxing. She. I'm like, yo, you got hit? No, I'm just scared, bitch. Ain't there ain't no time to be scared. We got to start rolling towards the staircase. Right when we get upstairs, she on Instagram. Oh, I just survived my first shootout, y'all. I cut her off expedition. And that concludes the MGTOW slash Red Pill compilation number two. So thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to hope smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this with your boys and your families, follow me on Instagram, smash that bell notification button, and y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace out.